bunny ears. I don't know if I'm in the frame. I moved you guys super far back. I'm probably out of focus because of it. But the bunny ears needed to be seen because they're fluffy and they're only a dollar and I'm proud of that fact. But I love them. And if I could wear them every day and not be deemed weird, I would. But I feel like it's not that socially acceptable at 21 to wear bunny ears outside. So sadly, I cannot. Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with the chocolate book tag. It was originally created by a daydreamers reader or something like that. Probably getting it wrong, but I'll leave the link down below so you can check out her video. I wasn't actually tagged by anybody, but today is Easter. So Easter means chocolate, which is why we're doing the chocolate book tag. So without further ado, let us get started. Question number one is dark chocolate. Name a book that covers a dark topic. And I have two answers for this. Basically, my first answer is any Ellen Hopkins book, it always covers something that's dark and that a lot of people don't want to talk about. This one is Tricks. This one covers child prostitution. So, like, I mean... It's a very dark topic. I think that all of Ellen Hopkins' books talks about really dark topics, but they're done in such an amazing way, in my opinion. I love them so much. So if you haven't read Ellen Hopkins, I highly suggest it, because like they're hefty books, but they fly by. They're so good. And then my second book for this answer is Dreamland by Sarah Dessen. And again, you could probably pick any Sarah Dessen book, but this one in particular I recently read. It's about a, an abusive relationship, and I really liked it. I thought it was really well done. Number two is white chocolate, and you have to say a lighthearted or humorous read. I'm going with it Don't Get Caught by Kurt Denan. This book is so funny. I read it last year, I think. I have a review if you want to check it out. But it had me cracking up. There's so many jokes in it. I just thought it was really cute. Also, I really like how when you flip the pages on the bottom, the cow, the cow moves. It's just, you can't see it right now, but it's entertaining. But it's filled with a lot of, like, crude humor, which I'm into. So if you don't like crude humor, you probably won't like this book, but... I think it's hilarious. The next question is Milk Chocolate, and it is a book that has a lot of hype that you are dying to read, and I'm going with This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I've heard so much about this book and how good it is, and honestly, everybody loves Victoria Schwab, and I don't know why I haven't read any of her books, but I haven't, so this, this one needs to be read. And apparently there's no romance in this, so like... I'm excited about it because I've read way too many romances in the past little while and I need a break. Next is Chocolate with a Caramel Center and you have to name a book that had you all gooey on the inside while reading it. And I'm going with Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell because Levi. He's a little baby angel unicorn and anytime he was in any scene I was like, my heart, I love you. And he just makes me so happy so definitely like him the most. And this book made me very happy because of him. The next question is Wafer Free Kit Kat. Which I didn't even know existed because like isn't the whole point of the Kit Kat for the wafer inside of it? I'm... I'm just saying. But you have to name a book that surprised you recently, and I'm going with The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Honestly, anytime anybody mentions this book in a video, I freak out because I loved it so much. It's so good, so important. I have a review of it if you want to check it out. But, like, if you haven't read this book, please read it because it is amazing. The next question is Snickers, and it's a book that you're going nuts about, and I... I'm so excited about this book, none of you even can probably understand it, but it is Radio by Sophia Lane Hansen. This is the second book to, in the vinyl trilogy. And it recently came to mail to me, and I'm so excited about it, and I'm on page 60, and I'm loving it so much, and I'm trying to read it really fast in between my exams so that I can pretend that I actually studied for my exam, but really I've just been reading this, and if you haven't read vinyl yet, you need to read it so that you can read this, and I'm not breathing because I'm so excited about this book. Oh my god. But yeah, this one. I love it. And I love Sophia. She's hilarious and adorable, and you should all follow her on Twitter because she's great. And also she writes really good books, so there you go. The next is Hot Chocolate with Cream and Marshmallows. What book would you make a comfort read? I'm going with Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This book is so cute and fluffy, and honestly, if you're in a bad mood, just reading it makes you happy because it's just, like, so cute and fluffy. And you just, so much, so much cuteness, so much fluffiness, and it just, it, it'll make you happy. I'm sorry, but it probably will. Also, review if you want to check that out. <laughs> Shameless permission. And the final question is Box of Chocolates. What's a series that you think has a little bit of something for everybody? And I'm going with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. It's got action, it's got the romance, and it also is just a really good story. And I really enjoyed it. And also, it has like a movie franchise that was actually pretty good. I will admit, I did like those movies. So, Hunger Games. Alright guys, so that was the chocolate book tag. I hope you guys all have an awesome Easter that is filled with chocolate. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!